As the buildings grow smarter and the sensors that you use for either monitoring or maintenance increases, it also increases the complexity that goes into it. Let me show you our vision of how you can create an end-to-end -end smart building solution where each of your smart devices are connected wirelessly and are able to talk seamlessly. We have a SAM 9X75 controlling all of our devices that we will talk about in a minute. We have a simple UI that tells you what's going on in your entire building. We'll start with the solar panel. This is a smart building. You want green energy, efficient form of energy. This way, you're talking to the solar panel. In real time, you will see how much power it is generating and what the position of that solar panel is. It also will allow you to actually move it to a different position if you want to. Now, once the panel has reached the desired position, it will be updated on the user interface here. You can move it to other positions. You can see the power and to simulate in very high quality how the sun, sun strength changes the power output of the solar panels. I'm going to bring out my phone and shine some light on the panels. And as you can see down here, you will see the lumens go up, the volts go up. And as I remove the sun from our city, this now will go back to normal levels. We have a bunch of other devices and sensors on here. One of those is the temperature sensor. What that does is reports the temperature data back to the main hub over thread network, and it shows you what the current temperature is. Feeling a little hot right now. I'm going to reduce the temperature and this will start the fans that are down here. The other boards here control the LED lighting around the smart building. I can control those by simply tapping on one of these buttons here and you can easily control all of the lighting. A robust touch can withstand the elements of nature. We are all familiar with how our smartphones can't really work when our fingers or screens are wet. But these touch devices operate in every condition. It also has an Ethernet and a Wi-Fi to give you more connectivity options so you can monitor all of this data and control these things even when you're remote and not in the vicinity. This is just a demonstration of the few things you can do. You can add more sensors, you can grow the network, or you can fine tune it to the point you want. Check out the links in the description, which will have the source code and all the other documentation. The generic building block instructions, however, are not included.